Now, it's very important when you create a PDF or upload that you be in paper space or layout tab. If you're in model tab, that's what your PDF is going to look like. And I'm not going to have your name. I'm not going to have anything else. So the things that I'm going to be looking for are I need a scale, a date, your name, sheet one of one, and the title. Now, later on, we're going to have notes and stuff, and I'm going to call this administrative text. So a lot of times I go and do all the notes and all the administrative text first. Then I start drawing. When I'm finished with the drawing, I know that I'm just ready to export it or print it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out on this, and I'm going to show you that if I hit the scarlet letter A and I export, you're going to export this, not print it, to a PDF. It's asking, it always goes to documents for some reason, and I'm going to go to the G drive, my drive, and go to your 1405 folder, wherever your drawing is, you want to save in that same area. And I'm going to save right here. I'm going to bring these and get rid of this extraneous folder. And let me just go up one. But I'm going to put it right here because that's where my drawing is, although it's not showing it because it's only showing PDF files. And I'm going to save it. And notice it takes on the same name as your drawing. So I'm going to save it. And there was a button in there when I export. And I didn't show you that again. But what it's showing me is what my drawing's going to look like. So there's my drawing. And this gives me a chance to look over everything. It looks like some things are grayer than others. But don't worry about it. If you zoom in, you can see that it's all black and white. And I can check that I have my name, the date, the scale. And once again, I'm going to show you how to find the scale because it's not always one-to-one. -one. You draw in one-to-one, -one, but the picture frame is scaling it up or down, and it's already set for you guys. So you don't have to worry about it. You just want to know what it's scaling to, and then you're going to put in the name. So sheet one of one, your name or your initials. It could be three or four, and I'll learn your initials. The name of the project, the scale from the viewport, and today's date in slashes or dashes. You can use the entire year. You can use 06-28 or slash 28 and the entire year or just the last two digits. Now, if I'm over here in AutoCAD and I want to find my scale, I'm going to hover over this yellow box because that is our printing area. And it's saying that it's going to zoom in. It's zooming in or zooming out to one half scale. It's actually printing it smaller than 100% but the dimensions will come in correct. So if you want to find out what scale to put in, hover over in layout tab, this yellow box, and that is on our viewport layer and it is locked, so you can't mess that up. It's one half scale. And that's how I know what to put in right here. So now I've created my PDF. So how do you upload it? We're going to look at how to upload that now and um, I'm going to show you where that assignment is, but just create that PDF and set tight with that one. And then I'll show you that later, okay? Don't worry about the due date on turning that in right now. You wanna get this work done, create your PDF. If you find something's wrong on your PDF, go back and change your drawing, save your drawing and export again and save over that file. So if I change something and I wanted to export it to a PDF, and I, I don't know why this keeps going here, but it's kind of a pain, but we'll get through it. 1405, there's my GeoQuick. Double click on that and it'll say, hey, do you want to, it's open in another program. I have to close this out. And so I'm gonna say try again and save. It's going to say, hey, do you want to override it? Just say yes if you do. If you don't, you can name it something else and update that. And that's absolutely fine. And when and it's bringing it up in a viewer. And the reason that it's doing that is when I say export to a PDF, there's a little box over here. 
that says open in new open in viewer when done and that's a good thing to do so that you can look at your work and make sure that it's correct so we're now finished with the geoquick exercise we've done the gasket and the geneva gear and now we're going to move on to the cabin <laughs>